how I got up close and personal with a Bajan grass snake. I was by my mother in her backyard when I spotted the snake. It was a barbarous tropical racer, better known as the Bajan grass snake. His head was buried a bit, so I cautiously approached and grabbed the part of the body that I saw sticking out of the rocks. His mouth immediately latched onto my hands. I felt a little pressure, but I was not scared. These snakes have no fangs, and they're not venomous. Then I had the great idea to educate Barbadians about the need to protect these snakes and not to destroy them. This snake belongs to the family of snakes, a species called the Culebrid snake. And these are found throughout the Caribbean in places like St. Vincent and in Grenada and of course in Barbados. As said before, these snakes are not poisonous. In fact, the only poisonous snakes in the Caribbean can be found in Martinique, in Guadeloupe and in Trinidad and Tobago but not in Barbados. There is this myth in the Caribbean that all snakes are poisonous. In islands like St. Vincent, certain species of snakes have almost been eliminated because of this belief that snakes, that all snakes are dangerous. I've even heard stories here in Barbados of people running helter skelter when they see these um, snakes. I've even heard of a story of a lady who almost caught a heart attack when she encountered one. But as I said before, these snakes are perfectly harmless. They carry no venom and they're not large enough to coil around us and to squeeze us and then attempt to swallow us. So to allay all your fears, these snakes And as you can see here, this snake is as cool as a cucumber. I'm in no danger whatsoever. I'm hoping that by your viewing of this video, that your view of the snake will indeed change. I've heard reports of people using their cutlasses, their holes, bleach, hot water, big rocks, whatever they could find and they just destroy these snakes perfectly innocent snakes that I'm telling you they are perfectly harmless but they play a very important role in our ecosystem because they feed on frogs and lizards and they help keep um, those populations in check can you imagine not having um, the grass snake and things like rats and mice and, 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 and lizards and, and, and frogs these things in the population just explode you know can you imagine the type of bodies that we will have so they are very crucial in maintaining that delicate balance in nature these snakes can reach a, a maximum length of approximately um, 830 millimeters um, and they don't go much um, much longer than that um, and they are masters of this guy are masters of camouflage you know they sometimes I see them they're brown other times I see them they're green you know and this um, hide them from prey and predator but mostly from their prey mainly their frogs and their lizards you know they're blending well into their environment and they're not seen and they're able to pounce on their prey and, and, and to destroy them, you know, and, and to feed and to survive because that's that's the purpose of um, being able to camouflage um, and oneself and to blend into the environment, okay? It's, it's all about survival and they are masters of that as well. Okay, these snakes have um, very few predators here in Barbados. In the other islands, and that might not be the case. But um, certainly the mongoose um, is, is one of the main predators. 
obviously, and men. We are, I believe, that the chief predator, obviously, because whenever we see it, our aim is to destroy it. Okay, and as I said before, that is going to offset the, the delicate balance in our ecosystem. And very soon these um, things will become, are going to become extinct. You know, I don't know if it's um, our close encounters, I don't know if it has to do with um, development in terms of people um, clearing land and moving to areas that were once um, snake territory. I don't know, but the point is that there are um, close encounters more so today than there were before. And my thing is to protect the snake. They are harmless creatures. They are not venomous. They are not poisonous. As I said before, as I've said before, so there is no need to destroy them. But we should cherish them as part of our wonderful island here, our wonderful nature life. You know, I think that these snakes have become public enemy number two. After the centipede, because the centipede in Barbados is hated. Um, anytime you are a centipede, um, someone is looking to run or someone is looking to kill it. You know, these snakes have become public, public enemy number two. You know, people are destroying them at will. Just hear a snake. And someone is running for cutlass, someone is running for rock. And they're just destroying these poor little creatures. That, as I said, I keep saying, they are perfectly harmless. You know, I think that these snakes have become public enemy number two after the centipede because the centipede in Barbados is hated. Um, anytime you're a centipede, um, someone is looking to run or someone is looking to kill it. You know, these snakes have become public, public enemy number two. You know, people are destroying them at will. Just hear a snake. And someone is running for cutlass, someone is running for rock. And they're just destroying these poor little creatures that, as I said, I keep saying, they are perfectly harmless. So I'm here playing around with this um, Barbara's Tropical Racer. And as I said, it's cool as a cucumber. You know, when I'm finished, I'm going to release it back into the wild because I have no reason to, to keep it captive. You know, but as I said, this video was done mainly to, to educate you to increase your knowledge about these particular snakes um, and to sensitize to the fact that if you continue to kill them eventually um, they will become extinct and, and that um, balance in nature that we have here in Barbados is going to be um, totally offset you know so protect them do not um, do not destroy them so for the next couple of minutes just enjoy my time with the Beijing grass snake up close and personal. Personal indeed.
it's time now for the release. Have we been put over there? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna release this giant anaconda. Put it on the ground. I'm gonna let him go. Starting to release the snake into the wild. Bye.